Here we are loading up a bunch of overpriced two by fours at Lowe's. Now we can absolutely make our own two by fours with our sawmill that we have, and we would love to do that. But unfortunately it takes so much time to get all the trees down and chop them up into two by fours on the sawmill. So to get started on the basement, we're just gonna buy a bunch of two by fours and then we'll supplement with homemade two by fours in the future. Look at that. Babe, how many did you get? Okay, let's roll. Now I gotta get the, some treated two by fours now. Oh, okay, let's get some treated lumber. Then let's roll. Good job. I made it <laughs> Yup, let's see. What? <laughs> I did, very cool. That's right. And here we are getting the last of the lumber and then we'll head back to the house and get to work. So we got home here and James unloaded all the wood no. by himself because I was running. Whew. I'm winded. But anyway, what are you doing here, babe? Uh, I'm looking to, I can't not remember if I put a P-trap. We could probably go back on our YouTube videos, but also where I want the wall to be, this needs to be this way another couple inches. Okay. So, so you're just I, digging it out. If I put a P-trap, hopefully I'll put an adjustable P-trap. It's all right. A little helper yeah. here. We got the big giant wet lid. Here, Dad. Dad, Dad, Daddy, Dad. Okay, babe, what did you find? Well, I do have a P-trap and it's non-adjustable, so no big deal though, because this is so deep that I can just put a, a flexible piece of uh, PVC or I could put uh, I could just reroute it. Look at this. Got a couple inches of snow today and it's cold, but there's the lumber. We are going to build another wall tonight. That's what James got done yesterday while I was at work. What's that for? Walking? Yeah, I got to be able to hook my two by four wall into something. Okay. Well, look at this progress. I put the kids to bed, I come down, and he's done. So. Let's go over here and I'll kind of explain to you what he did here. So we decided to build two walls to hide this pipe. So the first wall is here and then the second wall will be on that side. So that's what it looks like. And then where the shower is here, you can kind of see the line on the ground that goes along here. That's gonna be the edge of this wall. So the double wall is only going to go to right there. So if we step back, that's where the double wall will end and it will go all the way over to here, which is where that wall will start when we add it on. <coughs> Here's what it looks like. And James is also going to take these hangers that he had hanging down that the pipe was attached to to hold it up and he's going to attach it to these walls. And then this is the view from this side. And there's going to be a big closet slash storage area, and this is going to be a big door. It's pretty spacious, actually. There's going to be a lot more to fit in there than I thought, because that's where the wall is going to be right there. Okay. Nicely done, babe. Nicely done. Thank you. Well, we did successfully get the wall up, but in doing so, we broke a light bulb. So, James had to replace it. And there you go. Wall is up. Perfect amendo. Drilled.
We're done for the night. I'm going to bed. It's up behind me here. So this is the progress. <laughs> Look at Levi. Hi, Levi. This is the progress from today, just a little bit so far. Um, we boxed this in and had to put that wall there and that wall there for the bathtub because that's the size we're going to put in. And that also shows where the wall is going to be to hide that pipe. So now what we're working on actually is this corner here. Let me back up so you can see it. This corner where that wall is going to end. Here's the wall, the bathroom, the door is going to be right there. So this corner is weird. It's completely custom. As you can tell, there's this giant pipe that we have to hide going this direction along with that beam. So my vision for this area is some type of pillar, either stone or wood here, and then some type of pillar, either stone or wood there, whatever we do here to match those two, this one and right there, ignore that pole. Anyway, and then across here will be a giant wood beam and we will encase that pipe inside the wood beam. So that's the plan. But the problem is how the heck do you attach two by four to this area where there's that giant pipe especially because we need to access this pipe in case we have problems in the future. So that is what this guy is figuring out right now. Okay, so this is the progress from last night. We got this wall up. We ended up changing the design a couple of times, but we did figure out how to get it all attached. You can kind of see where we had the dogs, the water line to get the wall in there, but it worked out nicely. So that's how that is. You can see where James cut that out, notched it, so we've got access to that if need be in the future. But the bathroom is coming along nicely. Yeah. Yep, that's right, buddy. And then also in here, you can see where he built part of that wall to enclose that giant pipe. You can see it a little bit better from this angle here. So lots of progress. It's hard finishing a basin when you have all this stuff to build around because it just takes a lot of custom woodworking and it utilizes a lot of lumber. And unfortunately lumber is very expensive right now. So we bought 72 by fours and almost all 70 of them have been used in this tiny area of our basement. Okay, bathroom is completely framed. The last wall was in, which is this one here. And you can tell, it kind of looks like it's recessed because we had to box out um, that pipe right there. Obviously I had to build my wall up underneath of it. The reason why I had to do that is because of where I've located this. We rough plumbed this, um, just kind of estimating how we wanted the bathroom. And so this is kind of what we had to deal with. I wanted to be able to put this um, sewer pipe inside this wall. But it did make it a little bit challenging just because this had to be directly underneath of it. But that's okay because it's going to look good. This will look like it's boxed out in here. And obviously we've boxed out the tub as well. So that should die right in to the boxed out tub. Should look real nice. So, but we built this second wall on the outside. We didn't have to do this, but I didn't want to box out on the outside here. This is going to be where the bar is. And I wanted it to be nice flat wall just in case we decided to put cabinets in here. So this is what it looks like. Looks pretty good. And this is a very straight wall. All except for this two by four, which I haven't fastened yet. But everything's nice, plumb, and square. Step one of the basement is finished. We have the entire bathroom and storage room back there framed in. So it is done. And we can say we finally finished step one of the project. You can hear the boys playing in the background. They are always close by. Babe, it looks great.